Hi, we are going to talk about how you can uh, determine the validity of arguments be, uh, by using Euler diagram. By the way, it's pronounced Euler. So, some of the quantifiable arguments that have all, none, or some, you can use Euler diagram. It's actually going to work faster. Let's take a look at example one. Uh, all cats purr. Sparky is a cat. Therefore, Sparky purrs. If we think about this, that does make sense, but we need to verify it. So, how do we do it? Since all cats purr, we have a collection of animals or creatures that purr. And if all cats purr, then we're going to have another circle inside of it that's going to represent cats. This circle must lie entirely inside because it says that all cats purr, which means every single one. Now, where is Sparky? Sparky is a cat. So Sparky is going to be located here. And if Sparky is located there, and uh, since Sparky is a cat, and all cats purr, then Sparky is going to purr. And this argument is valid because a point that represents Sparky also lies inside of uh, purr. And that's the only way it can happen. Let's compare how this works with example two. All trees are green, frogs are green, therefore frogs are trees. Don't worry about the, uh, the fact that this statement does not make any sense. That's not what we focus on here. So all trees are, are green. We're going to represent this circle that is going to represent all the green objects or creatures or vegetation. And all trees are green. That would, that would be represented by a circle inside of it, since all of them are. There are two possibilities here. One of them is you can have a circle that's going to represent frogs, because since all frogs are green, and that could be like that. In this case, you would have an overlap between frogs and trees. By the way, I should say all frogs are green. I missed that part. Okay, and in this case, whether or not it makes any sense, or uh, there's an overlap, and this is true. But there is another possibility to make this. So we have green. This is trees, and this is frogs. So there is a way to draw this so that the set of frogs and the set of tr uh, trees do not overlap, and then that's false. This would be true for that statement, but you can draw one that's false. This argument is invalid. Moving on. All dogs chase tails. You are not a dog, therefore you don't chase a tail. So we need to first draw, since all dogs chase tails, we're going to have a circle that's going to represent dog, uh, everybody who chased tails. And all dogs chase tails. So we are going to have a circle here that represents dogs. Since all of them chase tails, then the, this circle that represents dogs is going to lie inside of the circle that represents all tail chasers. You don't chase a tail. I'm sorry, you're not a dog, therefore you're on chase a tail. Well, you're not a dog could be here. And then even though you're not a dog, you're uh, a tail chaser. However, another possibility here is you can have all your um, beings that uh, chase tails. You can have your dogs here. But if you're not a dog, this circle does not have to lie inside this. I mean, this point does not have to lie inside of tail chasers. It could lie outside. So in this case, this is not a tail chaser. So you have a possibility that you are or you're not. This argument is invalid. Four. All clocks tell time. time. Sun does not tell time. Sun is not a clock. Okay. So all the things that tell time 
and clogs do so they will lie in entirely above sun does not tail time so where could sun be located if sun if it says sun does not tail time that it has to lie outside and if sun doesn't tail time there is no way for that dot to be inside of the circle that contains all the clock this argument is valid in order for that to be invalid you would have to show that there is a possibility for that dot to be located inside of C but it can because that dot has to lie outside of the uh, circle that represent uh, all things that tell time all crabs have shells some insects have shells some insects are crabs again do not think about whether or not it makes any sense so we're going to have our creatures that have shells and all crabs do so these are crabs and some insects have shells so what does that mean there are several possibilities here some insects have shells could be represented by this right because some do some don't we need to show that some insects are crabs is that guaranteed that uh, some insects are crabs means that at least one of them has to be a crab and uh, this diagram here actually um, refutes that you can create a situation when it does make sense and have something like that but unfortunately that's one possibility but this possibility here says it's possible for these two conditions to uh, to be met and for the circle that represents insects and the circle that represents crabs not to overlap this argument is going to be invalid some people are drivers all drivers are happy some people are happy so now we have a condition that's a sum that means there's going to be a partial overlap uh, or possibly complete overlap so these are all drivers this is going to represent people this is usually how you view when it says sum okay and all drivers are happy so I am going to show you another possibility or a couple different possibilities here maybe even three so th this is what can happen um, all drivers are happy so how can you have a circle that represents happy well the circle will have to lie completely inside but one way it can lie is going to be like this this is going to be happy and they do not overlap so you don't have any people who are happy according to that you can also have a situation like this when happy has some overlap with people then some people are happy but because of that possibility you cannot make it unique this argument is going to be invalid and then remember you always have to ignore what your prior knowledge might be telling you with these problems some lawyers are judges some judges are politicians therefore some judges uh, I'm sorry some lawyers are politicians well let's see what we have so we have judges All right, that's judges and some lawyers are judges so that's going to be represented by L so so, so far we got it and some judges are politicians how can this be put well you can have politicians here All right well actually some oh no, some judges are politicians that would be uh, yeah so we have politicians uh, there is no guaranteed overlap because what you have here some judges are intersecting the circle of politician these two intersections are guaranteed but the, between judges and politicians and judges and lawyers but there is no guarantee of the in any intersection between politicians and lawyers 
therefore can you have it work yeah absolutely you can have it like this so this will work but this does not since you have a possibility that it does not work this argument is going to be invalid all pirates wear eye patches some sailors are not pirates therefore some sailors do not wear eye patches so we have a selection a collection of eye patches let's call it EP but some sailors and sailors are not pirates that means that the circle that represents sailors uh, are all pirates so pirates will be inside right so all the people who wear eye patches represented by the big circle since all pirates wear eye patches that would get, uh, put that circle completely inside some sailors are not pirates therefore some sailors do not wear eye patches we have two different possibilities here so where can sailors be? well uh, we know that there are not pirates so it can be located here which is going to be S so they're not pirates but they do wear eye patches another possibility can be that it's like this and then there's not a single tailor that wears eye patch you cannot create a unique outcome that would support this argument this argument is invalid all elephants have tusks some animals with tusks have trunks therefore some animal some I'm sorry we should say elephants be very careful do not base anything on your prior knowledge so we have animals with tusks all elephants have them So what could happen with, and then some animals with tusks have trunks. So how can that be? Well, we can have them overlap here. Right? Trunks. Tusks. TU is trunks. TR is tusks. So in this case, some elephants have tusks. I'm sorry, trunks. right but you have another possibility here your tusks all elephants do and you may have something like that for example for trunks in this case there is no overlap between the set of uh, trunks and the set of elephants and this makes that argument invalid because you cannot show that at least one elephant has a trunk I apologize about this confusion here. This is an invalid argument. Some cats catch mice. All cats chase rats. So, therefore, some rat chasers catch mice. Okay. Let's start with all cats chase rats. So, we have our rat chasers here. And all cats are here. And then some cats catch mice so if some cats catch mice that would force for that circle to be inside of the rat chasers right some cats catch mice so some overlap is required this is going to be mice so then we're guaranteed that some rat chasers catch mice why some? Because there's a possibility of that. I don't want you to be fooled by that. That looks like all, but all actually could mean some. If you put cats here, you can have a situation like this when you do have an overlap between cats and mice, but this lies outside. But it is guaranteed that some of red chasers will catch mice because all you need to do is show that a circle that's going to contain mice is going to be at least partially inside the circle that represents red chasers. This is a valid argument.
You can also use Euler diagrams for some arguments that contain if then and it will actually work faster than creating truth tables. Um, if I eat meat then I'm strong, I eat meat therefore I'm strong. This is, you probably know this is a true statement but let me show you what it means. If I eat meat that I'm strong that means all meat eaters are strong and then I eat meat and we're trying to conclude that I am strong. I hope you can see the connection now because um, when, once we start seeing things with like all and some this is going to be uh, similar to what we just did. So what do we have here? We have uh, strong people and all meat eaters are strong so that would put that here and if I eat meat I am I'm going to put a dot here this is the only place where that dot can possibly go and since I'm here I'm inside of the circle that represents strong and that means I'm strong this is guaranteed this is a valid argument so it's actually faster than making a truth table but if truth tables don't work all the time truth tables are not going to work with things that say sum it's you simply cannot use uh, anything that starts with sum uh, and uh, truth table does not have any tools that will allow you to do that if tomorrow is Monday then I celebrate tomorrow is not Monday therefore I don't celebrate So what do we have here? All Mondays, how can we rewrite that? All Mondays I celebrate. So tomorrow is not Monday. Therefore I don't celebrate. So what does it mean? That means I still, if I I celebrate and all my, uh, that happens every Monday. So this is a circle that's going to represent celebration, and the circle that represents Mondays is going to be inside of it, right? And we know tomorrow is not Monday, therefore I don't celebrate. Well, what is it? Tomorrow is not Monday. I can be here, and then even though it's not Monday, I celebrate. What's another possibility? You can have your celebration, Mondays, but then the dot that represents me could be outside and in this case I don't celebrate. So since you have two different possibilities, one supports that conclusion and the other one does not, this argument is going to be invalid. Alright, so I hope this helps.